This here is a Philips Hue um, bridge. It's not connected right now. And in my laptop, I have a Python program that will look for this bridge to be connected. It will try every attempt. There's a error handling subroutine here for the hour error. It will try uh, to connect to the bridge and it will tell you how many attempts it had. The system is not ready, attempt number one, until it finds the uh, Phillips bridge. So I'm going to wait for the second attempt and then I'm going to connect it to power to see if it uh, finds it there and you can see the Philips Hue bridge is now alive and right now it uh, found it's got a light bulb present the light bulb itself and it's got the right a brightness of zero and if I want to turn it on and set a brightness value just click yes and then execute and then the light bulb turns on and then the program ends. Again, if I run again the program, it will ask me if I want to switch it off because it's on. It will tell me the current status of the light and I said no, it will just don't do anything. If I run it again, ask me the light number one is on with 127 brightness. You want to switch it on? You want to switch it off? Yes, and it switches off. I just want to walk you through um, how this works. Like again, if you press uh, Y, it will switch it on. It will ask you for the brightness. Do you want to change the brightness? If you don't want to change the brightness, just say no, and it will retain the brightness level that it already exists in it. Click Enter. Oh, well, I want to change it to 150, the highest, and that is the full uh, intensity of the LED. Uh, again, you want to switch it off and on. It's a simple uh, button press. And the program itself, I'm importing the beautiful hue.api library, and I just get the bridge from it. And then I start with a while loop, and I try accept uh, error handling. The hue is connected to a router to which the laptop is connected through Wi-Fi. And I already uh, know what the IP address of the Philips bridge is. And this here, this is the username or name account number, uh, alphanumeric long name, random name obtained from the API. If you go to the Philips website, you can find the instructions on how to set up your Philips uh, bridge. And here, you just need to navigate to your uh, um, bridge IP address, and then open up the API clip uh, web-based system, and then just issue a series of commands in JSON format, which basically it's uh, asking it to create a username and then here it prompts you to press the button and then press the post to obtain the new registration for the new user. So when you press a button and at the same time press a post on the API, you'll, you'll get a uh, alphanumeric registration username in return and that's what you input here in your Python uh, bridge connections. You do the IP address and the user name, and then you just set format your resource calls to the bridge. You can get the status, and then you can update the status of something. That's how you read and write. You get and you update. And here I just had a series of conditional ifs and then um, input from the user and then limiting the uh, brightness levels between 30 and 150, just allowing you reach the status of the LED, and then 
it prompts you hey, the LED it's currently off the, and has this brightness do you want to change it to something else and then you answer yes or no and that's pretty much it thank you for watching